Good morning and welcome to the Monday morning meeting of a week of morning meetings. My name is Sabina. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a regular, it's a pleasure to have you as always. My intention with this week of morning meetings is that I did this a few months ago and it was very popular. Many of you contacted me and shared with me how much you loved being feeling a part of a community, but also how much you loved starting your morning with and really sort of setting the tone for your day, sort of starting the morning with a purpose. My intention with this week of morning meetings, that my, the focus will be on our, our being in our power. There is no greater time in our lifetimes than right now to be swept up in the illusion that power is something that is outside of us and so the most loving thing that I can do right now now the most empowering thing that I can do for you right now is to remind you connect you with your power and remind you that you always have it at a time when there are a lot of things that can get you to forget that so each morning we will have a specific topic that I will talk on and then I will test up is there a card deck that I need to do a reading from? Is there an oil that I need to do a reading from? I have already tested out what we need this morning for our message for today. There is an oil and there is a card um, but um, I've been um, guided to do that not before the video but during the video so they're there and they're ready to go so what is today's topic specifically within the umbrella of power today i want to talk to you about real power versus ego power because there's a very big difference the reason why i'm starting with this because what i really want to do this week is build a foundation i want to i want to help you within yourself build a structure of foundational power that you can stand on, that you can move through your life on. Now, you might start watching this video and you might think, oh, I'm, I'm fine right now, I'm not interested in this right now or that right now. I want to let you know very early on that this week, yes, of course, there will be a focus on the current times we live in. How can there not be? We are not separate from that. That is our collective experience right now. And yes, within that, our individual experiences are very different. Our individual beliefs and opinions and understandings and truths of this time are very different. I want to let you know that it does not matter what yours are, what I'm going to be covering what we're going to be talking about, what the cards show will be for everybody. You will take from it what is for you. You will take from it what is meant for you and what will help you. And also my intention with this um, week of morning meetings is not just to help you navigate this time. It's to help you navigate any time. It's to help you navigate the internal and the external world because there is no point in learning a spiritual foundation or spiritual tools if they are not helpful and apply across the board and in all situations. So the reason I'm starting with this, uh, with distinguishing between real power versus ego power is because in the clarity sessions that I do with people, in the work that I do with clients, whether it be one-on-one -on -one or whether it be in groups, it, it's come to my attention that some people have a real issue with the concept of power and actually feel uncomfortable about being in their power. They feel uncomfortable about claiming their power. And I've realized that the reason for that is, is that we have been sort of sold a version of power that doesn't feel right for a lot of you. It seems to be particularly women, but I'm sure that there are a lot of men who have the same experience. And the reason why some people, maybe you feel uncomfortable with the thought of being in your power is that 
the version of power that you are thinking of is very much an ego version of power. And so let's start today. If we're going to spend a week on encouraging you, assisting you to be in your power, let's get really clear on what that is and what we mean by that and what that looks like from a healthy perspective. So ego power is power over. It's manipulative. It can certainly be destructive. It's, um, it is, I want that regardless of the cost. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to enforce that regardless of how it makes you feel. Um, and this is kind of the power that we have seen the power structures um, generally and within institutions that we have seen in modern times for the last few thousand years. That It's a very patriarchal. And please, if you are a man, don't turn off when you hear me say patriarchal. Patriarchal is not masculine. And... Um, the, you know, the opposite of patriarchal is not feminine. Patriarchal is really of the ego. It is that whole structure of if I am in my power, I will charge through. It's loud. It's destructive. It's manipulative. It's power over. It is often fueled by anger. It is often fueled by wanting to be in control over the outside world, over outside structures, over other people. It is short-lived. It needs a lot of fuel. It's exhausting. If you think about it in your own life, it, when we have a surge of anger and then we act from that part, we have a big adrenaline rush and then we're exhausted. It can't be sustained. In order to sustain it, we keep needing more and more hits of conflict or anger to fuel us. Whereas real power is recognizing a sense of self mastery. It is having power over ourselves, power within ourselves. It is not about the outside world. It is about the inner world. So where ego power looks at life from the lens of when I can get the outside world to be structured and controlled in the way I need it to be, when I can manipulate the outside world into what I need it to look like, then I will be in my power, then I can feel powerful. Real power is about knowing it's about being able to access our power, that stream of power that, that is self-sourcing and it doesn't run out. So it doesn't need to keep being fueled. It, it is sustaining and it is sustained by a force that we always have access to. It is an internal well of power. So it's about being empowered. It's about beaming. It's about being bright. It's about lifting ourselves up. It is about doing that as a role model to others. It is about, it is about empowering ourselves and empowering others at the same time. So it is not about power over. It is about power within. It, it is about reaching for, okay, so factoring in that nothing in the outside world has to change and what if it stayed exactly the same and what if what if I can't control any of that and what if I am not able to manipulate any of that into how I need it to be how am I still in my power so this is the focus that I want us to have today firstly for you to be really clear in for the rest of the week when I talk about being in your power what I mean and that I mean it to be that internal source where you are in a sense of mastery, where you are in your power, regardless of the outside world. And why is that so important right now? Because right now, it, it is vital to remember, for each one of us to remember at a time when it's so easy for us to forget that the inside world 
is what is reflected on the outside. Um, I just watched an extraordinary movie on Netflix, which I would highly recommend to all of you. It was called The Trial of the Chicago 7. It was a trial during the Vietnam War. And here's what I thought while I was watching it. And in all honesty, quite horrified at what I was seeing. History keeps repeating itself. And I literally turned to my husband and I said, same shit, different day. Because what we do is we encounter things that feel like, um, it, when we encounter situations that feel off to us as a humanity, that are about conflict and they're about fear and they're about a power grab, what we do afterward when enough of us recognise that that wasn't okay and we kind of move out of that throughout history, be it a war, uh, be it, um, it times of great conflict, be it whatever, be, be it collective or individual, is that we kind of wake up out of that and then what we do is we look at what we feel needs to be fixed on the outside so that that doesn't happen again. And so we do things like vote someone out, vote someone else in. Um, put in checks and balances so that that couldn't happen again. But we don't change the inside. And until we change the inside, until we tap into that real power source and recognise that it is in here that we have the greatest power, that it is not until we change in here that we are going to see permanent change on the outside. The reason why history keeps repeating itself is not because humanity is um, a really, um, you know, sort of evil or, or bad or a lost cause. It is because we are misguided in where we feel our power is. We keep forgetting, we keep either not waking up to in the first place or going to sleep to the understanding that power, our power is within and it is our internal world that we must change and shift before we will see that reflected in our external world. Please hear that message today. That, that is a message for, it's a reminder for myself and it is a message for each one of you in your, in your private, individual, inner world, in your family circle, in your friendship circle, in your workplace, as, in your community, as much as it is a message to us on a collective level, okay? We can take everything back to us. And until we recognise we are in our power, we are not going to be able to fix on a permanent basis so that it never happens again, so that we don't go keep going through this cyclical living of repeating, repeating, repeating um, because we're trying to fix the outside something that we need to claim on the inside. So... I want this week to also be a practical week for you. So, so you ideally, so obviously I'm, I'm posting these videos the night before so that whatever time you wake up in the morning, you can start your day by listening firstly to the lesson, the reminder, then, okay, so what's a practical thing we can do today? Practically, we want to remember real power versus ego power. Ego power thinks it has to have control over the outside. Real power is an inside job. Is it, is, it is knowing that there is a, a, um, a permanent source, a constant source, an uninterrupted source, a stream of power that we have access to that flows to us and within us. And that is where we have our power. So today... Any time when you feel you are not in your power, okay, be that uh, when somebody has said something to you, be that that you are waiting to be told you are out of lockdown, be that that you are waiting to be told you can take your mask off, that you can drive wherever you want to drive to, be it in a relationship, say with your children, whatever. At any point of today, wherever you are and whatever your experience of today is, 
when you feel like you don't have power, when you feel like you're waiting on someone or something, okay, become aware to it, become conscious to it. Just say, ah, there it is. That's all you need to do. Just recognize it. Ah, there it is. Then take a deep breath. And then I want you to say, lucky I have an endless supply. So something has provided the illusion that it has power over you or that person has power over you or the something you heard on the telly or something you saw on social media, a post somewhere, something someone said, even a thought, okay? Include your thoughts. Any time today that a vision runs through your mind, a memory, a thought, a conversation with someone, something you hear, any time that you recognize in your own mind or in your body that you feel like you're not in your full power, okay, you don't need to figure it out. This isn't about, oh, I need to figure out why and what and what. Today, today is about recognizing that for a moment you forgot you were in your full power. So you go, oh, there it is. Take a deep breath. And then you say to yourself, lucky I have an endless supply, meaning for a moment, I gave my power away. I thought I didn't have any. I thought they had it and I didn't have it. I thought I had to wait for them to give it to me. But lucky I have an endless supply. And you see yourself, you feel yourself, you sense your whole body filling up with it. Okay? Where you, where you do have an endless supply, for a moment, it went down got quite low, you realized, you got conscious of it, you call it out, take a deep breath, helps you be fully in your now moment, helps you be in your power, and you say, lucky I have an endless supply. That's what you do today. That is our practical step for today. The other thing that I want us to do today is just a quick visualization right now, and then I'm going to do the oil in the card which will give us more guidance that, that, that wants to come through for today. I had planned on doing a, a whole meditation video on being in our power for each of the chakras. When I decided to do these morning meetings, the guidance was no, each morning also include the meditation for that chakra. So today we're going to do our base chakra. It's not even that important. If all this is new to you, it doesn't even matter. Here's what we're going to do. I want you to close your eyes just for a moment. Even if you're getting ready for work, this is going to take a minute. Close your eyes. Take a nice, deep, conscious breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, I want you to feel shoulders relaxing, arms relaxing, body relaxing. Another nice, deep, conscious breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, I want you to feel your focus going down your feet to the ground. Feel your feet on the ground. And from the earth, I want you to feel a golden light coming up through the earth, through the ground, from deep within the earth, through the ground, into your feet, up your legs, and just into the base of your spine. I want you to see that golden light, feel that golden light. It's just flowing up, flowing up from the ground, right up, feet, legs, and into the base of your spine. And I want you to say, I stand in my power. I walk in my power. Okay, great, beautiful. Now, another nice deep breath in and out. You can open your eyes and great, you're good to go. If you're getting ready for work, you're brushing your teeth, you can keep doing that now. That's it. That We've set the intention. Now, throughout the day, repeat that to yourself every time you think of it. As you take a step, I walk in my power. When you're standing somewhere waiting at the supermarket, I stand in my power. Okay? Anytime. Feel, just be conscious of your feet, be conscious of where you stand, be conscious of your steps. I walk in my power, I stand in my power, okay? Do that throughout the day. Alrighty. 
card first. Okay, uh, the card deck I am using is the, well, I tested up of all the ones I had. The one that showed was the Wild Offering Oracle deck by Tosha Silver. Love Tosha Silver, all of her work and her books. Fabulous, wonderful teacher. Okay, I'm testing through. I'm not shuffling, I'm testing through. Okay, the bottom card, the bottom and the top. Okay, top first, bottom second. Alrighty, that's nice and easy. So basically I'm, I'm muscle testing to get that for us. That's for all of us for today. Okay, beautiful. So, top card is the first one. And that is love. And here's what it says. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember I myself am love. If you don't like the word Lord, please change it to something that you feel more comfortable with. It's not about finding love. You are love. I am love. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I myself am love. You might want to write that down for yourself for today. I myself am love. Take a nice deep breath in. Breathe out. Okay, and the second card is forgiveness. And it says, healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. There's a lot there. Let's talk about that tomorrow. For today, just know I accept what is. I myself am love. I accept what is. I am fully in my power. I stand in my power. I walk in my power. Remember real power, real power. That is power within, that is empowered, that leads the way, that is self-sourcing, that is an endless stream that we always have access to, that does not require any aspect of the outside to be different for us to be in our power. That's real power. And throughout today, if you happen to forget, you will, I will, we all will. That's human nature. That is completely A-OK. -okay. It's what we hear. It's why we practice. Anything at any time today where we feel like we're not in our power, we say, there it is. Take a deep breath. And we say, lucky I have an endless supply. And we feel ourselves fill back up. Lucky I have an endless supply. So somebody pushes in front of you, somebody says something, somebody's narky, your kids are shitty getting ready to go to school. You have a bit of an argument with somebody, somebody puts a stupid comment on social media in it. You feel it, you feel, you feel a victim to it, you feel your power, even just a thought, a memory of something, something that's happened in the past. Lucky I have an endless supply and fill yourself back up. Lucky I have an endless supply. Feel yourself back up. Okay. And before we head off on our day, what is the oil we need? Okay. We have dill. Mmm. Dill. Dill is certainly smelling better than I have ever had it smell before. Let's see what dill is all about. Clear. The message of this oil is clear. Clarity. Clear. Clearing. Clarity. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Clear all the previous stuff. Clear all the misconceptions. Clear everything we've headed into today with. Clear a clear, clean slate. And clarity clarity a clarity of who we are a clarity of where we get our power from a clarity of what our power source is a clarity that we ourselves have access each one of us to our power source to all the power we ever need okay that is what's showing up as a nut i could say more but it's not showing up that's needed and i don't want to overload you on day one we're going to spend a whole week together each morning 
including Sunday. I wish you all an empowered day. I thank you for being here. If you are new, please subscribe. Please click the bell so that you know when I'm posting. And please, if today has been helpful, click the like and leave me a comment. Let me know what you found helpful. That is always of benefit because what you find helpful, other people find helpful and it helps me to know what to teach on and what to expand on. Have a look back over if you need to, to remind yourself throughout the day, but you know what? You, you've, you've got this. You will do it. Do not beat yourself up about anything and it's not about perfection. It's about the intention. It's about the intention being in our power knowing real power and the difference from ego power, standing in our power, walking in our power today. And lucky I have an endless supply. Lucky I have an endless supply and see yourself filling back up. All right. Happy Monday, wherever you are. Happy Empowered Monday. Let's keep reminding each other who we are. Let's keep reminding each other that we have all the power that we need. Let's keep leading the way for each other and let's keep setting the tone. Much love to you and I will see you tomorrow.